So to add a black booking in the software, if you come up to Wizards at the top, and then Absence Black Booking Wizard. If you click on Next, and then the first screen you come to is the, the employee range that the, the Absence applies to. So usually for it, it's, it's everyone. So say if it's a bank holiday, you choose everybody. But if it's certain scenarios where it's only for certain departments, you could click on Department, click on your blue dots, and then you choose the departments that it applies for. We'll just choose everybody for this video, and then click on Next. So the absence to be taken, it's just the absence reason for the for the block booking. So we will choose bank holiday paid. Take absence from, and now this is just the date range of the absence. So let's, for example, we'll say that the, the 30th of October is a bank holiday. So we'll select that date there. Click on next. And now unless you've got really specific shift setups where you need holidays at certain out, uh, rates and things like that, you can actually leave these optional sections blank now. So if we just click next, next and obviously approved. You can leave a note if you need to put a note on there, but then it's just a case of, a case of clicking next. And then once you get here, you click on finish, and then you get the option to add another if, if you like to. So we'll just click on no. And then with block bookings, it does take about three hours for them to come on the system because you're running the, in the background roughly every three hours. So if you put it on and click into somebody's calendar screen and you don't see it there straight away, just, just allow it three hours first.